Big development, a Kerala court has sentenced to death all 15 people associated with the now banned Islamist outfit Popular Front of India, that's PFI, in connection with the murder of a BJP leader. Remember BJP OBC wing leader Ranjit Srinivasan was hacked by PFI workers in December 2021. The prosecution had sought the maximum sentence for the convicts in the case. They said that they were a trained killer squad. The prosecution also said that the cruel and diabolical manner in which the victim was killed in front of his family, his mother, infant and wife, brought the case within the ambit of the rarest of the rarest of crimes. And now this is the big development that's coming in. We are learning now the Kerala court has sentenced to death all 15 people associated with the PFI in connection with the case. To talk more on that, BJP leader Mr. Tom Vadakkan also joins us on the broadcast. Uh, Mr. Vadakkan, how do you see this? This is a big development coming in. We're learning all 15 people associated with the PFI in connection with the case have been sentenced to death by the Kerala court. This is a peculiar diabolic case when a victim has been attacked in his own house in front of his wife, children and relatives. He's been killed, hacked to death. By 15 people. It falls into the category of rarest of rare crime. It's unfortunate that the law and order situation in that in our state has been so grave. And this has been a situation that's it's an ongoing process. It's happening all the time, these kind of attacks. Even mm. the governor is not spared. Let's talk about lesser models. And if this is the situation, I think normally we do not react on court verdicts. But making an exception of this, I think this is nemesis catching up. Because ultimately, the constitution, the laws of the land will prevail. So what has happened is within the purview of the law and the evidence is produced in the court. And then as I repeat myself, this is definitely nemesis catching up. Mr. Vadakkan, uh, well, the centre had already banned the PFI in 2022, but reports also suggest that uh, the organisation or uh, the members, some members of the organisation may have been able to circumvent the ban in uh, one or the other way. How do we see this? What does the state government uh, need to do? Well, this, the issue is the state government is doing nothing to curtail them. On the contrary, the, there is a cover-up, uh, you know, there are various cases which have been reported in public domain that they are, they are protected. So if that is the case, then I think this is a serious matter. You cannot enter people's house and murder them and in front of their families. It's very unfortunate. And I think this is a clear message to the uh, dispensation that's running Kerala mm. that no government, no government, central or otherwise, would tolerate such behavior. And this is a message across the board that such crimes will not be tolerated. Absolutely. This was a heinous crime. And would you say now, after the Kerala court's verdict today, justice has finally prevailed? Justice has not only prevailed, but has sent out a very strong message across the country that this kind of crimes will not be tolerated by the judiciary or the government of the day, because this, there is a constitutional protection of life and limb of each citizen of India. And nobody has a right to do this kind of diabolic crime in, pub, in, in public. Uh, this is not just public, but right in the front of the family. Can you imagine the plight of the family after right. this kind of crime has been committed? Hmm. Absolutely. Uh, and also, you know, coming back to the question that I was asking you about the state government's responsibility here in such cases or uh, stopping the PFI or its members to move ahead uh, with uh, the, the agenda that uh, they have. You know, uh, why would you say that what has been the reason so far of the state government's reluctance to act against the organization? I mean, there's nothing much to say except that there are electoral gains. And this is a case of appeasement. And this is... Appeasement does not mean that you can go beyond the law of the land. Appeasement is 
something that is not acceptable. And if the government of the day decides to do appeasement in this of this kind, then of course uh, there there are uh, uh, there are governments of the day, both central and otherwise, who uh, take this issue up because this is not an isolated incident. There have been incidents. A variety of such cases have come out in public domain hmm. and they're awaiting justice. So this is a message across, uh, not just across Kerala, but across the country that this will not be tolerated anymore. All right. Thank you so much, uh, Mr. Vadakkan, for uh, speaking to NDTV and share your uh Sharing your views here. Meanwhile, that is the latest we are picking at this point in time. Uh, we are learning death penalty has been given for 15 members of the banned PFI. For uh, Kerala BJP leaders, murder a Kerala court has found 15 men guilty of killing a BJP OBC wing leader in uh, Alapua in December 2021. Well, the convicted persons are associated with the now banned popular front of India, that's the PFI. Well, the quantum of punishment we are learning will be, uh, well, now has been, uh, all right, we're learning death penalty has been announced uh, to 15 accused people involved in the 2021 murder case of BJP leader Ranjit Srinivasan. My colleague Uma Sudhir is also now joining us on the broadcast, getting us more on that. Uma, that's what we're learning. Uh, well, uh, big development now taking place. We're learning the Kerala court has sentenced 15 PFI workers to death in connection with the case. Yes, indeed. On the 25th of January is when uh, the court had in fact uh, said that all the accused in this case are guilty. They were all convicted. And uh, now today is when the uh, sentence has been declared and all of them have been given a death sentence. This, of course, uh, relates to the Maulikara uh, murder that happened of Rangi Srinivasan, who was the OBC uh, leader of the BJP in Kerala. And uh, the murder had happened, in fact, uh, inside his home, right in front of his mother, his wife, as well as his child. And uh, the brutal manner in which uh, you know, the prosecution in fact described it as a very diabolical uh, killing that happened uh, and by uh, armed uh, kind of a gang that was indulging in this kind of, uh, you know, m murder or violence. And that's what they have said, argued in the court as well and said that this is a rarest of rare case also because it happened in front of uh, the family itself. And of course, this at that time was supposed to be in retaliation for uh, the killing of an SDPI uh, person, uh, Mr. Shah, uh, the previous night. And the next day is when uh, this murder happened. Uh, the gang of about 15 people came in, CFI as well as SDPI, and uh, they murdered him. And uh, two years and, uh, uh, you know, just a few weeks later, uh, the sentence of death uh, for both of them. Of course, in Kerala, we have seen a long-standing uh, kind of a political battle between the right-oriented uh, uh, right-wing uh, groups as well as the left-wing groups. So this, uh, this conviction is certainly politically very significant. All right. Thank you so much, Uma, for getting us all those details there.